Coco. Fresh baked bread, chocolate chip cookies, and freshly mown grass. For sure, at least one of these things reminds you of a pleasant memory, and more importantly, a pleasant smell. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton, and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we'll be looking at the connection between scent and spending. What effect does scent have on humans? So if you ask the average person, you know, how do you think scent impacts you in a store or in a shopping mall? They think, oh, it must change your mood. But actually, most of the research suggests it doesn't change your mood. But it can make you spend more money. It can make you linger longer. And it can impact how positively you evaluate products or the store you're in. How important is one's sense of smell to our everyday life? Most people underestimate the importance of scent. People who lose their sense of smell actually go into depression and they you know, describe the world as being kind of dull and lifeless. They lose much of their sense of taste because much of what we taste is actually a function of what we're smelling. So a lot of things uh, that we take for granted in terms of our sense of smell, if it's taken away from us, then we suddenly notice it and, and it makes life a lot less uh, pleasurable. Can we talk about scent and memory? Scent is very capable of enhancing our memory for associated things after a time delay. What kind of questions does the study of scent bring up? Sometimes there's this uh, concern that uh, marketers are like out there manipulating us by pumping in scent and stuff. And there is the potential for that because uh, in a lot of my studies what I find is the vast majority of the participants in my studies never remember having been exposed to a scent. So, and yet I find effects. There's a concern from a, like a consumer protection point of view. Can you explain to us the idea of scent marketing? More and more retailers are trying the use of ambient scent, which means pumping in an odor that's not attached to one particular thing, it's just in the atmosphere. I think that's becoming a more popular marketing tactic or a way to enhance people's experience you know, in the space. And where might we be seeing it eventually? It's probably in more spaces than you know now. And in fact, I would encourage consumers to like be conscious of their environments and try to notice whether they think something is, is being introduced into the atmosphere to make them more relaxed. What should we expect in the future from scent marketing? Going forward, we need to be conscious of people who don't like scent. They might have a physical reaction to it, and so we need to be really sensitive to the possibility of you know doing no harm. Thank you very much. Welcome.